In this illustration, we intend to simulate the hysteresis analysis of the moment resisting frame with cable bracing in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, this model is composed of beam, column, cable, gusset plate, T plate, continuity plate, and support. In this question, the cable has been used as a bracing member. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the model and following that, its hysteresis diagram is drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram having been drawn in the Abacus software has been compared with experimental results. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Alucas software. The article is entitled Displacement Restraint Bracing for Seismic Retrofit of Steel Moment Frames. In this picture, you can also observe the geometric shape of the model having been simulated in the Abacus software. Click on Create Instance. Here, first I will enter the geometric shape of support into the Assembly section. Then click on Create Instance. This time I will enter the geometric shape of bottom gusset plate into the assembly section. I will click on translate instance, select gusset plate, done. First select this point, then this one, OK. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of the column into the assembly section and rotate that 90 degrees about x-axis. Then I will click on Translate Instance, select the column, I will click on Create Instance, enter Left Brace into the Assembly section, click on Translate Instance, select that, done. First, select this point, and then this one. As it has been explained in the article, yield load is equal to 57.9 kilonewton and the diameter of cables is equal to 10 millimeters. According to this formula, we can calculate the yield stress. In this formula, the yield load is equal to 57.9 kilonewton, radius is equal to 5 millimeters, and in this manner, yield stress is equal to 700 
37 megapascal. I will click on Tools menu, then on Partition. Here select Cell, then Define Cutting Plane. Select the column. Done, three points. And select these three points. and click on Create Partition. I will click on Tools menu, then on Datum. Here, select midway between two points and select these two points. In the next step, I will click on Tools menu, then on Datum. Here, select Offset from point, select this point and enter Offset equal to negative 100 millimeters zero and zero. In the next step, I will click on Tools menu. Here, select Reference Point and select this point. I will click on Create Constraint. Here, select Coupling and Continue. I will select this Reference Point, Done, then click on Surface. Select this surface and OK. I will click on Create Boundary Condition, select Displacement Rotation and continue. I will select this reference point, enter U1 equal to 1 millimeter, then click on Create Amplitude Continue. In the next step, 
we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram. Actually, we intend to draw the diagram in the Abacus software. To do so, I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB Field Output, and continue. Here I will select reaction force directed at X and displacement directed at X axis and click on save. In the next step I will click on create XY data then operate on XY data and continue. I will click on combine, select U1 and RF1 and click on save. Here you observe the hysteresis diagram having been drawn in the Abacus software. Here I will transfer the diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is Newton. Here, the hysteresis diagram drawn in the Abacus software has been distinguished with red color. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are so close to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated properly in the Abacus software.